How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get wide shoulders and a small waist, step by step. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So we'll talk about the small waist, then I'll talk about the wide shoulders. My shoulders are naturally very, very wide, you guys. From I'll, I'll tell you the exercises that I've done to really help them get wider. Um, so the small waist, is about getting to a low body fat percentage. Um, when I'm sitting at about 205 pounds, my waist is about 34 inches, which isn't too bad. I still have visible, visible six pack abs. But when I get down to about 170, so I drop about 35 pounds, my waist is about 28 inches and it's small. It's very, very small. So I would definitely say small waist, the body fat percentage, very, very important. A lot of people say, oh, I have super, super wide waist. I think you assume you have a wide waist because your body fat percentage again is too high. Most people, if they get down to like eight, nine, 10% body fat, their waist is gonna be super, super tiny. So that's not the hard part. In my opinion, wide shoulders, small waist, the hard part is the wide shoulders. And if you guys just look at me sitting here, my shoulders are extremely wide. Um, I take a lot of pride in my shoulder training and my chest training. Shoulder training, there's two exercises that you need to do, two exercises. I rotate these. So for about six weeks, I'll do one exercise, then I rotate and I do the other one. So the first one I'll, I'll talk about is the one that everyone knows, it's dumbbell side raises. Um, average person can maybe do 10, 15 pound side raises. I usually do about 40 pounds. So 40 pound side raises with no swing. So again, that's when you get the dumbbells and you grab them and you go like this. I can do 40 pounds very, very easily. Um, average person can barely curl 40 pounds, let alone do side raises. So I've really, really built up my strength with the side raise exercise and that's why my shoulders are really, really big. So I really recommend that one. The next one is something that I feel has really helped my side raises out and helped get me bigger shoulders. And this is an exercise I have never seen anyone do inside the gym. Now, if you know of the upright row, I have seen people in the gym do upright rows. Upright row is where you grab the bar like this and then you do a row. The issue when doing it like this is you impinge your rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff, when you do this exercise, if you go past here, past about right here, you impinge your shoulder. So it's a terrible exercise to do. I don't recommend doing it. But what I do, instead of going here, I go here. I go super duper wide. Then what I do is I go like this. And you can see when I do this exercise really, really wide, the minute I go like this, the muscle in your side delts are being worked. So again, I go like this, and then I just go like this. And it's what I like to call it is a wide grip upright row. And the issue with that is you can never go past here. If you're going super wide, it's literally impossible. That's as high as I can go. I can't go any higher than here. So it's basically impossible to impinge my shoulder by doing a wide, wide grip upright row. And trust me, when doing this exercise, sometimes I notice I can't really, sometimes I can't feel it in my, my, my side delts when I'm doing the side raises, unless I go to like high, high repetitions. Usually for side raises, I do about 20 reps. Um, with the upright rows, the minute I do the first rep, I can feel it in my side delt. First rep, I can feel it. So I really, really, really recommend doing wide grip upright rows. And obviously the side raises, the side dumbbell raises too. So end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.